Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question number three from the October 2022 session of Statistics S1 from the International A Level at Excel exam. And this question here is um, it's about like standard deviation and mean and coding of data. So it says Morgan is investigating the body length B centimeters of squirrels. A random sample of eight squirrels is taken and the data for each squirrel is coded using this code x equals b minus 21 over 2. The results for the coded data are summarized below. So you've got the sum of all the coded data is minus 1.2 and the sum of the square of all the coded data is 5.1. Find the mean of b. Right, so here we've got some coding going on and what does that mean? Some people maybe not understand what that means. What it means is the actual lengths, which are called B, were found. And there was like eight pieces of data. And these B values were then put into this equation here, into this expression. And they were coded and they became X values. So whatever B value you got there, you substituted into this formula. So you took away 21 from it and then divided by 2. And then you wrote down the X values. And those X values were added together and that gave you the sum of X so that's where the negative 1.2 comes in. The negative 1.2 is the sum of all the coded values of B after B was placed in this code. And then all of these, these X values were squared. And then they were added together. So you got the sum of the squares of the X values. And that gave you 5.1. So that's what's happened here for this, the summary data. The summary data is the summary of the coded data. All right. So it says find the mean of B. So we want to find the actual mean of B. So what we're going to do first is we're going to first find the mean of X. The mean of X. Now the mean of X is equal to the sum of all the X values divided by the number of entries. Okay, so that's going to be minus 1.2 divided by 8. Okay, so I'm going to leave it in that form for now. Um, and then I'm going to use that to find the mean of B. Now we can, we got this code coding x equals b minus 21 over 2. Now we gotta, uh, we got to first understand um, what coding affects the mean. Now let's just imagine we have some numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now if I was to add 1 to each of these numbers, okay, my new number would be, my new numbers would be 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, so adding something to every term causes the mean to increase. If I add 1 to every term, the mean increases by 1. The mean of this, th these numbers is going to be 4. The mean of these numbers is 3. If you, if you add them together, you know, you're going to have that's 9, 10, 15 divided by uh, 5 is 3. And if you add these together, you have um, here you have um, 5, 10, 20 divided by 5 is 4. So you can see that the mean has increased by 1 when we added one to each term. So adding and subtracting affects the mean. And if I was to multiply each of these numbers by 2, for example, I'd have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Um, again, here, the mean will also increase. Okay, because the sum of these numbers now is going to be what? It's going to be 6, 12, 20, 30. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So the mean of these numbers is 6, and the mean of these numbers is 3. So the mean has been doubled just like the numbers have been doubled. So the mean is affected by both addition, subtraction, and uh, also multiplication division. All right, so that means the mean of, we want to find what B is. So we, we know the mean of X is equal to the mean of B minus 21 over two. Um, the coding is affected by, by all of those. So if I want to find what the mean of B is, I can just rearrange this formula. I can say that's equal to two times the mean of X plus 21. Okay, so that means the mean of B is going to be 2 times minus 1.2 divided by 8 plus 21. And that will give us the answer. The mean of B equals, you're going to have 2 times minus 1.2 over 8 plus 21, which gives us 20.7. So that's the mean of the actual values. So it says, um, find the mean of B. Okay. So the mean of B is going to be equal to 20.7, just write centimeters. Okay, that's the answer for.
part A. Now we've got to go to part B, and it says find the standard deviation of B. Okay, so with the standard deviation, let's look at those same numbers again. Okay, that I just, where did I write those down? I crossed them off, okay. Let's, let's think about the numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, if I increase each of those by 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, the standard deviation tells us about the spread of the data, how spread out the data is. It's like the range of the data, you could say, right? And here you can see the range of the data is 4. And if I increase each of these by 1, then I'll get 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. You can see the range of the data hasn't changed. The range was 4, and it's still 4. Okay, so the, the standard deviation is, is a, um, a measure of how spread out the data is. So the, 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 the data hasn't changed by the addition and subtraction. So addition and subtraction does not affect the spread of the data. But if I was to take those numbers and I was to multiply them by 2, I'll get 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And you can see that the range was five, uh, was 4. Now the range is 8. So the, the, the range has been doubled. So the, the, the standard deviation is only affected by multiplication division, and it's not affected by um, multiplication. Uh, sorry, it's only affected by multiplication division, and it's not affected by addition and subtraction. Okay, so we need to find what the standard deviation of B is. So first I'm going to do is I'm going to find the standard deviation, which is given by the symbol sigma, x. Now the standard deviation is equal to the square root of the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. So the mean of the squares would be the sum of x squared divided by the number of terms minus the mean squared. Okay, that's going to be the standard deviation. All right, so we can say that the standard deviation in terms of x is going to be the square root of, so we got the sum of the squares, which is 5.1 divided by 8 minus um, the mean squared, which was... Um, minus 1.2 divided by 8, but all squared, all right? So that's going to give us a standard deviation. So let's work out what that's going to be. You have the square root of, you have 5.1 divided by 8, minus, and you're going to have minus 1.2 divided by 8. Okay, and that gives us, 0.887 the mean of the squares ah I forgot to square this that has to be squared that gives us sorry um, 0.78421 okay so we can say that the standard deviation of x is 0.78421 in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because this is not my final answer, I'm going to write it in its exact form, okay, which is equal to root 246 over 20. So the square root of 246 over 20. I'll leave it in this form for now, because um, I want to find the standard deviation of y, of b, sorry. Now, the standard deviation of b, um, as we know, the coding is given by x equals b minus 21 over 2. So we can say the standard deviation of x is equal to the standard deviation of b divided by 2. So therefore, the standard deviation of b is equal to 2 times the standard deviation of x. Okay, so I've got to take, the, this is going to be 2 times the square root of 246 over 20. So therefore, we can say the standard deviation for b is going to be equal to, um, you multiply this by 2, okay, which gives you, 1.5684, 1.5684, which we round to 1.56, 1.57, that's the standard deviation, that's in centimeters. Okay, so there's the answer to part B of the question, that's the standard deviation of B. Okay, so there's the answer to A and B. All right, now we're going to go on to part C. Um, it says a ninth squirrel is added to the sample, given that for all nine squirrels that the sum of the values, the coded values, is zero. 
find the body length of the ninth squirrel. Okay, so basically, um, what we do is the body length of the ninth squirrel. Okay, so we can say now that um, the the sum of the x values before was minus one point two. So you can say x the ninth x value has to equal um, one point two because you know that. Um, you got the sum of all the x values from 1 to 8 plus the one for the ninth value has to equal 0 and this is minus 1.2 plus the ninth term is equal to 0 so the ninth term, x, ninth term must be 1.2 right so that's the body length of the ninth squirrel so we can say that um, the, the coding is x equals b minus 21 over 2 so we can say b is equal to 2 times x plus 21 so in this case, the, the ninth body length, B9, is going to be 2 times 1.2 plus 21. So the ninth value in terms of B is going to be 2 times 1.2 plus 21, which gives you 23.4. So it's 23.4 centimeters. Okay, so we have to decode it, uncode it. This is the coded lengths, and here we have the lengths after it's been uncoded basically so there's the ninth uh, length then it says the standard deviation of of x okay so you want to find the standard deviation of x for all nine squirrels okay so now we know that the standard deviation is given by you're going to have the sum of the squares okay of all nine this is for all all nine of them okay um, over the number which is 9 minus the mean of the the squares minus the mean of so it's a sum of the all 9 divided by 9 all squared okay that's a standard deviation now we know that the um, yeah so we can say that the sum of x the, the nine, 9 numbers all squared is going to be equal to the sum of the x squared plus the ninth term squared. Okay, so the sum of the terms um, squared before was um, 5.1. So this is going to be 5.1 plus 1.2 squared. Okay, so that's going to be the new sum. Okay, so you're going to have here um, 5.1 plus 1.2 squared. That gives you 6.54. Okay, so that's 6.54. So we can say this is 6.54. So we can say the the new standard deviation is going to be the square root of 6.54 over 9 minus now the sum of all 9 of them is now 0. Okay, after for all 9 square rules, the sum of x is 0. So this is going to be 0 squared, which is 0. So that means we're going to have just this square root of 6.54 divided by 9. So this divided by 9 and the square root of the answer will give us 0 0.85247 or 44, 0 0.85244 goes on. So this is going to be this, the standard deviation of x is going to be 0 0.852. Now they don't want to find the standard deviation for, or for b just for x. So we finish there. We don't have to you know, undo the coding for this because they want it in terms of x. And there we have it. There's the answer to this question. Now, this question, according to the examiner's report, was very poorly answered by most students. Um, so I think maybe that's a, a topic that a lot of students haven't really uh, looked at much about coding. OK, um, so it's something you should take um, kind of notice of. A lot of questions, a lot of students, they just do past paper questions and, and sometimes something comes up that's new and they haven't really practice it much that's why it's good to look at all the notes that you took with your teacher and the you know all the syllabus that's covered in the book and try to practice different types of questions because they might surprise you sometimes with something that is kind of different all right so there's the answer to this um question number three other questions from this particular paper it's october 2022 s1 can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region at the end of the video other questions from this topic of um, this is basically i think in just uh, analysis of data like you know 
So this this will be under like standard deviation, mean, um, and coding as well. I guess I'll, I'll put maybe a new uh, playlist for that. You'll find that over here. And you can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the link in the middle. Thank you for watching and see you soon.